According to uh, NetLingo Online, more than 79 million people are text messaging, and much of it for business use. Joining me now to talk more about the way technology is causing businesses to deal with their employees is Kevin Connell. Kevin is CEO and founder of AccuScreen that specializes in workplace ethics. And that's right where we are today. Kevin, this would seem like a no-brainer. It can't be okay to fire an employee by text, can it? No, absolutely not. I mean, texting, emailing, I mean, when you are going to let somebody go, you want to treat them with dignity and respect. And the best way to do that is face-to-face, -face, in person. Worst case scenario, via the phone. But email, text, I mean, that is, it's unprofessional, and it is, uh, it, it, it can ruin the reputation of a company. Now, does this mean that uh, other companies could likely be doing this in the future? Is this just the beginning of something that, that none, none of us is going to like? I, I can go back to 2006 where I've seen uh, managers firing people via text. And it's not just in the U.S., globally it, it, it happens. Uh, my personal opinion, just with the way that text is growing, I mean, it's growing and growing and growing leaps and bounds. If you look at millennials or Generation Y, those who grew up with the Internet, those would be the ones that were born between 1977 and 1995. Yeah. Their preferred means of communication is via text, Ouch. not not e not email. They view email as snail mail. The problem here, and talk about the problem of doing that. It's taking the personal dynamic out of the relationship. That's a creating a, an automatic response, a, a, ro a robot. In Good, your uh, exactly. You could you couldn't have said it better. I mean, that's like automation, robotic. I mean, we're we're, we're human beings. That's one of the things that separates us from the, the animals and, and the robots. You know, looking at the future, you, you've got teenagers doing this all the time. Uh, th this is how they communicate now. Uh, th but they are the bosses of tomorrow. What the effect are they going to have on the workplace of tomorrow? Well, you, 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 you can make a, a, a valid prediction just based on their preferred means of communication is via text. And unless companies uh, institute policies. Many companies don't have any policies on, on these things. That's why a renegade manager can yeah. just fire somebody uh, via text. And uh, so if there's no policy in place, guess what? People are going to be fired via text. And it, and it also works both ways. Then you're going to have, because if the manager is firing somebody via text, you're going to have employees quitting. They're going to say, I'm, I, I quit. It's <laughs> Monday morning. I'm not coming to work. And yeah hit the send button, and it's text over to their boss. This is one more intrusion, I guess, in our private lives that we'll just have to manage somehow. Thanks to you, Kevin Connell, from coming in from AccuScreen for joining us. My pleasure.